So in this video, I want to talk about something that may be of interest to people who are into electronic music, people who use uh, electronic gear such as synthesizers, drum machines, and whatnot. Uh, I want to talk about two very specific kinds of output jacks. And you often see these on the back of older synthesizers that were manufactured in the 1970s, but I've noticed that even some newer gear also includes these specific jacks. Now, you all know that on the back of a lot of electronic music gear, uh, on the back of a lot of audio gear, usually you have two outputs, your left and your right. And sometimes these can be RCA connections or they can be quarter inch. But what I'm talking about in this video are the outputs marked L and H. Not L and R for left and right, but L and H. Now, I first came across these kind of connections way back in the day uh, back in the 90s, I purchased a Mini Korg 700 synthesizer. And the story behind how I got that synthesizer is actually quite interesting. And I'm planning to make a video in the future kind of detailing the very funny and interesting story about how I got my hands on that synthesizer. But in this video, I just want to talk mainly about the L and H outputs. Now, what you see on the screen right now is actually a screenshot from the actual manual for the Mini Korg 700, which talks about the L and H outputs. And it says, connect audio cable, shielded type, from jack marked output to input of your amplifier. Utilize jack marked H for high impedance use, 100,000 ohms, or jack marked low for low impedance, 5,000 ohms, shown in figure one. And just as a side note, kind of a funny side note, as a younger man, when I first got into synthesizers and I first noticed the L and H outputs, I mistakenly thought that L stood for line and H stood for headphone. Not so. And just to show you, here's another screenshot from the Mini Korg 700 manual, clearly showing the L and H out. And I'll also mention, as I said, you would see these on a lot of synthesizers kind of made back in the 1970s, but you also see it on some newer gear as well. I also own a Behringer Model D, which is an emulation of the Mini Moog synthesizer. And here's a caption from the Model D manual, and it explains it pretty clearly. As you can see, it says low. This instrument level mono output can connect to the instrument level inputs of guitar amplifiers or mixers, for example. High, this line level mono output can connect to the line level inputs of mixers, keyboard amplifiers, or powered speakers, for example. So there's my little look at the L and H outputs on the back of musical gear. I hope this clears things up for you. I know for many years I was very confused as to what the L and H actually meant, but now you know, and I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Hope you can join me again next time. Please feel free to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. It really helps my channel grow. We now feature over 300 videos on this channel. And every time someone subscribes, it really helps my channel grow. Thank you very much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.